Hello everyone, today I'm going to go through the best way to hunt dragon and lucky implings, whether that be on one account, multiple accounts, or if you just want to pay people to hunt them for you, I will show you the best place to go so that you can do that. The first thing I want to show you is the impling map. This is the one that most people use. You may have seen it already. The reason I want to show you this is not because of all the spawns, which are very useful, but actually because this is the main map people use, but the greyed out areas actually have a lot of the best spawn locations. Not everyone knows about these, so I'm going to show you a couple of them that have been very good for me, and hopefully they will be for you too. The first place I want to show you is actually on the map, but it's probably the best place in RuneScape. Unfortunately, you're not alone here. A lot of people know about it, but it's a good example for how this works. Because now that there is no logout timer, running around after implings is no longer the best way to do it. It's much better to find a bottleneck such as this. As you can see, there's an essence impling in there already. Now what happens is they go into these areas, get stuck, and can't come back out. Same as the area below. So there's two bottlenecks here, the one above and the one below, and implings get stuck in there on many worlds. So all you need to do is just hot world after world after world until you find a dragon impling or a lucky impling or any impling that you're looking for and catch it. It's that simple. So all that you need to do after that is find the best places to do this because as I said in the last one, that is well known and quite camped. So I'll show you a few of the lesser known ones. This is a similar area such as the last one where there's a bottleneck. This is Koren Castle and there are implings around here and they also get caught. There's not as many get caught here but you're normally on your own. The next spot I want to show you is actually just above Al Karid. It's just before the mining by the altar and west of the jewel arena. As you can see, there's a magpie impling here. This is a spot where they don't have to get trapped. They just seem to hover around this area. They're normally between where the impling is now and the altar in the bottom right. And they just hover around here. Sometimes they go out of view. But generally in that area where I'm stood, there is normally quite a few just by hopping worlds. I'm going to show you a fantastic place later that's not on the map. Now, by showing you it, I may kill that area and other people may go there. But I just want to show you how good it is. You can go out and find your own little areas like this just when you're running around RuneScape. So I use RuneLight and what that does is that allows me to see the implings much easier on the minimap and in the game. You have writing over them so it shows you very clearly where they are. And I set it up to show me all implings. Now, I do that because when I'm running around doing Slayer, whatever it might be, and I see implings in the same spot over and over and over, all I do then is I go there one day, hop worlds a bunch of times, and see if that's a good location where they seem to hover around or get stuck. Now, here is the setup I've got for multiple accounts. Now, it might be a little bit too much for many people, but I want to show you this is quite easy to do. The top one in the middle is just Train and Slayer. That's my main account. The rest of them are just Imp Hunting. All I do on each one of these is hop world after world after world after world. And because of the delay hopping worlds, it takes just about enough time for five accounts. By the time you've done the fifth one, you can hop again on the first one. As you can see in the top right corner, there is a lucky Imp link. But I'll show you on two accounts whilst training my main just how many implings you can catch in one hour if you find the right two spots and just hot worlds. I've tried running around after implings, it is not the way. I have tried this for weeks. This is not a five minute guide I thought I'll throw out. I've done a lot of work behind this to try and get the best ways. I'm running around, I've tried, and it doesn't work very well at all. In this setup I have in the top right corner, the one I mentioned before was the best place for imp hunting currently. Now I may kill it. I'm a little bit gutted that I'm giving this away because I may just kill this location. However, it's a fantastic location. It's just west of sleep on the path and there's so many implings here. Sometimes there's as many as four implings in this spot and I've never ever seen anyone else here with me. And these are the ideal type of spots that you want to find by yourself. The beauty of this guide is, is 
that there's loads out there. You just need to find them. So you do have to do a little bit of legwork. But if you find them, you will have the best in playing spots. First dragon in playing in 10 minutes. And I'll just quickly speed through. I will show you after where you buy and sell implings. In the bottom right hand corner now you'll see that I have found another dragon impling. And on 42 minutes, that is my third dragon impling, again in my favourite spot. And finally, at 52 minutes, my fourth dragon impling. No lucky implings, unfortunately, this time. They are rare, as you know, that's why you've come over here. But you do find them at the same time, just not as commonly. And that's it, four in one hour, I would say three per hour is about average for these two locations, top right being the best one. There's probably more caught in the bottom right, but because you're sharing it, there's less per hour for you, if that makes sense. Next up, I'm going to show you where to buy and sell, depending on what you're doing and the best way to do it. So Settled set up a Discord, and all you do is you go onto his Twitter and there's a link to it, or you can type it in at Settled the Grotto. Just to come over here, you go into this Discord, they buy and sell implings. Here are the prices that people have been paying whilst I've been doing it over a very long period. They do vary a lot, sometimes as low as 500k, sometimes as much as 3 million plus extra for the glory, which is what most people are here for. But don't be put off. If you're buying and you don't want to spend too much, put 500k. A lot of the time, there's only one or two buyers on. Sometimes you'll message a buyer and they won't reply straight away. So if you're trying to not spend too much, just put 500k on there. You'll still get people message you anyway because 500k is better than nothing. If you're selling, try to come on at the peak times of the day. Evening UK time is normally very good for mul multiple buyers and good prices. And that's the best way to get the most when you're selling on here. That is everything you need to do to get a good amount of implings. Hopefully the grind is not too much for you. Even doing this method a few an hour, it can take a long time to get that glory, get that specific item that you want. But hopefully this has helped you out just a little bit. Thank you very much for watching the video. If it did help you and you could like the video, it is much appreciated. If you want to see more videos in future on different guides, I will be doing them. So please subscribe. I also do a lot of challenge videos if you like that kind of thing.